വെൽക്കം ഓൾ ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക് ഈസ് ജെനീറ ഓഫ് ബാക്ടീരിയ ഇൻ ഫുഡ് ബിഫോർ ഡയറക്ട്ലി ഗോയിങ് ടു ദ റോൾ ഓഫ് ബാക്ടീരിയ ഇൻ ഫുഡ് വൺ ഫസ്റ്റ് വി വിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് വിത്ത് ദ മൈക്രോ ഓർഗാനിസംസ് ഇൻ ഫുഡ് സോ മൈക്രോ ഓർഗാനിസംസ് പ്ലേസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദീസ് ത്രീ റോൾസ് ഇൻ റിലേഷൻ ടു ഫുഡ് ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് pathogenic microorganisms can cause infections or intoxication secondly saprophytic microorganisms play a role in biodegradation and cause food spoilage and third one cultured microorganisms like probiotic bacteria are used in food processing so these three figures show the role of microorganisms in relation to food pathogenic microorganisms the main factors that contribute to occurrence of food borne diseases are first one the use of raw food and ingredients from unsafe sources second one inadequate cooking or heat processing third improper cooling and storing four allowing several hours to pass between preparation and eating fifth inadequate reheating next improper hot holding next food handling by infected persons or carriers of infection next cross contamination from raw to cook the food and finally inadequate cleaning of the equipments and utensils so these are the main factors that contribute the pathogenic microorganisms to food and thereby lead to the food borne diseases so now we will see about the different genera of bacteria associated with the food first one is the campylobacter jejuni they are the common cause of diarrhea in humans as well as some animal species the transmission can be by direct contact between the humans and infected animals or their fecus more commonly it is transmitted by the consumption of contaminated food or water and the symptoms range from mild diarrhea to severe invasive diseases which include abdominal pain fever and blood and mucus in stools next non typhic salmonella there are more than 2000 serotypes of salmonella species of which only a few cause salmonella gastroenteritis in humans the symptoms include acute watery diarrhea accompanied by nausea cramps and fever blood in stool or may also occur animals are the main reservoir and the transmission occurs by the ingestion of contaminated food products food especially at risk are the poultry meat eggs and milk next salmonella typhi and para typhi they cause typhoid fever and para typhoid fever respectively since the reservoir for both these bacteria are usually humans transmission occurs mainly through the person to person contact or contamination of food by food handlers next one is the staphylococcus aureus and the source of these infections are humans the bacteria are often found in smaller amounts in the nose and on the skin of clinically healthy people higher amounts can be found in lesions of skin such as infected by eczema psoriasis or any other pus draining lesions these people should therefore not be handling food and food poisoning caused by this bacteria cause heat resistant staphylotoxin resulting in diarrhea vomiting etc the symptoms usually start suddenly and disappear within 24 hours next one is escherichia coli there are several serotypes some of which are harmless to humans whereas others can cause gastroenteritis Enterotoxigenic E coli is the most common cause of the traveler's diarrhea and the source is humans and transmission usually occurs through contaminated food and water next 
Listeria monocytogenes. This bacterium is highly associated with food stored for long periods of time in the fridge because it is ubiquitous and has the ability to grow slowly even at low temperatures. They can be fatal in immunocompromised where it can cause septicemia and meningitis. Next one is a shigella and the source is humans and primates because it has low infectious dose. The main mode of transmission is from person to person contact. It can also be transmitted through infected food and water and the symptoms of shigellosis are fever and watery diarrhea, abdominal cramps and small volume of bloody stools. Next is the Vibrio coli and the source of this infection is humans. The main mode of transmission is through the contaminated water and food of person to person spread in overcrowded and hygienic situations and it causes severe watery diarrhea. Next is the Thostridium botulinum and its source is the intestinal tract of fish, birds and mammals. It is also widely distributed in nature and the bacteria is a spore producing anaerobe with a highly potent heat labile toxin that affects the nervous system. Next we will see the role of bacteria in food spoilage. Examples of the action of bacteria involved in food spoilage are Lactic acid formation by lactobacillus and leucnostoc, lipolysis by pseudomonas, alkaligene, serratia, etc. Pigment formation by flavobacterium, serratia, micrococcus, etc. Gas formation by leucnostoc, lactobacillus and protease and the slime formation in food by enterobacter and streptococcus. Next is the different bacteria used in food production. The in fermented milk production by product production by lactobacillus, lactobacillus, bifidobacterium, etc. Variety of food including Indian dosha, Italy, batter fermentation by the leucnostoc, mesenteroids. Probiotics are the live food supplements used in yogurt and other fermented milk products. It includes lactobacillus, acidophilus, and bifidobacterium, bifidum. And these bacteria improve the microbial spectrum in the gut and this contribute to the following effects. They will influence the immunity level and hence prevent or make diarrheal diseases milder and helps to decrease the risk of colon cancer and cause decrease in the cholesterol absorption and they produce acids that decrease the pH in the gut and this increase the absorption of minerals such as calcium and phosphorus. Thank you.